Let's, uh, what am I seeing? Groundhog, you're probably not big enough for any meat, so let's just eat some food place food. I'm so glad we have all this food place food. It's really helping us deal with the calorie issues we've been having. We are normal weight, but we are on the low side of normal weight. So just keep on chugging the old calories. Actually, let's drink something. Oh, that's right. I said about how we keep losing our jug of water. I don't understand where these keep going. I made a gallon jug of water in the last episode and it appears to just be gone. We do have a gallon jug of black tea. Uh, tea. Let's take that out of the vehicle because I haven't seen that either. Okay. Plus 40 quench. Satisfied, very thirsty, thirsty, full and still thirsty. That's okay. So do we want to try again to install CBMs? We have computers 1, first aid 5. Probably should raise our computers. Uh, if we have a first aid book that can take us to 6, it wouldn't take us very long to get to 6. That would be helpful as well. We do. And we will just activate our MP3. It was on all night again because I keep forgetting to turn it off. And we'll read this until we get first aid 6. That will help as well. Uh, when I'm thirsty or hungry and run out of supplies, I go to the forest and harvest a lot of herbs and others to cook it. True, not drinking also helps. Yeah, if you just don't drink alcohol. I Honestly, I drink like once a year, maybe. I'll have like, a, like an Old Fashioned or a, a Manhattan or something. Um, but I really don't. I really don't drink. B12 is a good one or the way I used to just don't stop drinking. Yeah, I hear people say that a lot as well. Like, oh, you're hungover? You just need some beer. It's fine. Um, I don't know. I was never a big enough drinker to know if that's something that actually helps or not. We are stalling out. Why are we, why are we gaining skills so slowly? I guess being hungry is degrading our focus, probably. There we go. Level 6. Check my morale. Nothing is affecting my morale. Then why, why does it always trend so hard down? I mean, I don't understand why gaining a skill necessarily degrades your focus like that. Let's eat something. Do we have anything that's just like meat? We have meat soup and meat jerky. Go ahead and eat some meat soup. That sounds delightful. I was going to make myself a nice dinner today, but I woke up an hour late. Um, yesterday at work was pretty bad, uh, and I didn't get home until like an hour and a half later than I have been, so was real tired and just kind of vegged out until I was ready to go to bed. Um, and then I woke up an hour late today, so I was very behind in getting ready to stream and things. So I, my plan was to, they have a little farmer stand uh, across town where they sell like peppers and onions and stuff. I was going to go get a bunch of bell peppers and a bunch of onions. And yesterday I had some boneless chicken wings for dinner, so I was going to make like some stir fry and then just have some chicken meat as well. And uh, I was like, ah, I'm going to make myself a nice meal. It's going to be lots of delicious veggies. And then uh, woke up late and was like, I do not have time to cook, so let's just eat cold, cold chicken wings and then uh, rush to get on stream as soon as possible. So it was not great. Mess my day up just a smidge. So what are you gonna do? Hair of the dog was a good cure, but bad. Is ex XP still broken? Oh, you mean experimental? Uh, experimental in general is always buggy. There's always going to be something that is not quite right because experimental basically what people seem to struggle to understand. I don't know if this applies to you or not, but some people seem to struggle that. Experimental means they're implementing things, but a lot of times when they implement new things, it's a process. It takes multiple weeks to get things ironed out and sometimes even longer to get everything fleshed out of a new system or whatever. So like if that kind of stuff bothers you, you really should just play stable. I know that people want features, but part of playing experimental is like you should be making bug reports. There are a lot of issues with the game. Um, currently, like I said, we're having some issues with our calorie consumption, so I'm struggling to maintain weight even though I'm eating, like, just thousands of calories every day. 
So I could see, you know, a new player really struggling to deal with that. Um, the nested container system is still a little bit off. A lot of the big stuff has been ironed out, but there's a little stuff that is annoying, you know, and frustrates people. So I think that if you're an easily frustrated person or you're you're not really interested in bugs, you really should just play this stable. Um, they're trying to put out stables more frequently. So, like, I know... Some people get upset, like, I don't want to wait another six months for the newest features, but, like, that's uh, that's the deal, you know? It's it's either you play stable and have a stable time, or you play experimental and deal with, uh, deal with some not great stuff. Um, Cataclysm, by and large, though, is pretty stable. It's pretty rare that something comes and, like, eats your save, but uh, from a, an annoyance standpoint, it's definitely can be very annoying. Anyway, I didn't mean to ramble about that, but, like, you know, it's a question it gets asked a lot, you know. And even, I, I mean, I get frustrated by stuff in the experimental version all the time. I complain about stuff constantly. Um, but I'm mostly okay with, uh, with dealing with that, so. Let's uh, continue reading, I guess. If we get two computers, too, we will check our skills again to see if we can install some of those CDMs. Uh, it does help with the hangover. Do is in a playable state. That meal sounded great, or the one planned. Yeah, I really was excited. Actually, I I really enjoy. I know it's like, I don't know. I always think of it like poor person food, but like, I really do just like eating a couple peppers and onions that have been thrown together in a skillet. I think that's delicious. So it's like, for me, that's like an ideal meal. Um, and it's so cheap because it's like a, a little farmer stand where you can get really cheap peppers and onions. So, um, I just, uh, on, like I, like I said, I woke up like an hour late and then, um, was going to go out there and was feeling kind of sick and was like, maybe I shouldn't eat a big meal. And I went and checked the kitchen and like the pans are on the stove dirty. Someone didn't clean them. So it's like, now I got to add cleaning the pan, scrubbing out, you know, crusted disgusting mess out of a pan i don't have time and maybe maybe later this week i'll i'll do something uh or over the weekend or something i do want i do want to eat more vegetables i don't eat enough vegetables uh so let's grab our cbm pile since we have better skills now we'll go in and see if we can install something i don't know if we can install a lot or not so we want cerebral booster alarm system was a low percent chance so we'll take that um finger pick uh night vision we're probably not able to install torsion ratchet we want alloy plating metabolic uh definitely cbms or uh, stored cbms and we don't need terranian sonar i don't really care about the water extraction unit that looks okay for now let's go see what uh, of course we don't have space for these things Even though I have 13 liters of space, it can't accommodate all that I wanted. CBM. Oh, what didn't I pick up? Pick up the night vision. Why? Why can't I fit? I have 13 liters. You're telling me that 13 liters are all small pockets. It's partly because I'm holding the leather vest. Let's just go. Let's just go. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and deal with volume issues. Let's go uh, check the auto dock. See what we've got going on. Oh, mm, started playing stable, but you got me to playing experimental. I mean, I like it because of the new features and because I do the update show where I talk about the update, um, like all the stuff that's coming to the game. So for me, it's like you kind of have to be on experimental to know what's going on. Um, I'm going to turn on the light for this because I feel like I shouldn't program a robot in the dark, even though I'm sure it doesn't have an impact really. Compact Bionic Module. Okay, we got those down to 6%, which is good. Why don't we just install those? We also dropped the Torsion Ratchet from 50% to 33%. I still would like that to come down further before we try to install such a such valuable CBMs, because like we don't have any other of these, and we really don't want to have to re-sterilize everything. 
So I would like to continue reading, but we can work on power storage. So go ahead and plop that in us. Yes. We failed a 12% last time. Hopefully we don't fail a 6% this time. There we got some power storage. Great. Let's do another one. In fact, how long was that surgery? 20 minutes. Pretty, pretty quick. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I love stir fry. Stir fry is awesome. You're right. 100%. Uh, there goes our flashlight. That's okay. Install the big one. Hopefully this works as well. Just wait and successful. Hooray! So let's check our current bionic power storage. 450 kilojoules. Uh, which is nice because for some reason I always seem to struggle to find power storage CBMs even though they're like the most basic ones. I think it's because I get most of my CBMs from scientists and um, the, the power storage ones tend to drop from shockers more than any other creature. So... That's probably why I, I don't usually get around to butchering a lot of shockers. So we're not really in a position to install all of these yet. We can continue just grinding skills. I know that's not a lot of fun, but I think that's probably what we're going to do. About 4 a.m. Um, I wish I knew where that gallon jug of water went. Are you, are you on this tile? No, I, I wish it wouldn't just disappear like that. I don't I don't know where it keeps going. But that's okay. Uh, we can just ignore that for now. And go back to reading, I guess. Which is not hugely entertaining. But read. Uh, it's too dark to read. Oh, our flashlight is out of battery. Go ahead and drop that flashlight. I'm sure we have other ones laying around. Where's my tool pile? This one. Flash. Ah... Uh... Uh, etc. Okay, heavy duty flash. Oh God. Okay, let's uh, let's go down. No, we need the book. That's why we picked up the flashlight. What am I doing? Uh, read. And computers to three. Yes. Stop. Now we have the book. Off with the flashlight. I'm sure we have light batteries around, but this is fine for now. Read. Read, read, make sure our MP3 player is on, it is, read, it doesn't, is the MP3 not draining charges? I think it's, feel like it's been at 300 for quite a while. I have no fungal monsters in my game, they seem like such a pain. Well, they did get reworked a little bit several months ago where they uh, reduced their breeding, so like they don't, they don't generate quite as many as they used to. I do find them annoying. I don't play with them either. I think currently we have the no fungal mod on. Um, I think what hap what needs to happen is like one of the devs just needs to decide like I'm gonna really rework this to make this a little bit more. Um, it it's not even that it's bad. It's like I need to rework this into a new state. But I just think nobody is gonna necessarily take the energy and time to do that when they have other things they want to work on i do think with the rate of their spawn and just how common they are and how dangerous they are it becomes overwhelming and unpleasant pretty quickly i feel the same way about like the acid ants they just to me it feels like they drag the game down it doesn't really improve the game um so i think what needs to happen is like somebody just needs to come along and say like i'm gonna rework this and make it a little bit more tolerable a little bit more a little bit less just obnoxious you know um because i do i find them very annoying and tedious mp3 still at 314 how much was it before i can't tell if it's burning charge or not it seems like it's been at 300 for a while more food place food please have some water before we get full as well that way we can uh Make sure we deal with our quench without overwhelming our, our body. How are we doing weight-wise? Still normal. Got to really keep an eye on that. I'm pretty concerned about our weight. Keep reading. Fighting with one on a playthrough right now. Good luck. I heard fire helps. Yeah, I mean, like I said, to me it's just tedious. Uh, it just, uh, I prefer playing with all the possibilities, so I enabled fungals. Yeah, part of me is like, I wish I could enable them and be happy about it, because they are a part of the game, and I feel like I'm missing out on part of the game. 
I just find them too obnoxious. They uh, last I played with them seriously, it was like I spawned near one of their like towers and everyone I knew said, "Okay, if you spawn near a tower, you need to leave immediately." So I packed up and left and I went across, you know, the map and came to another one and was like, "Okay, this is a little ridiculous." And had to pack up and move for a third time, a second time. And it's like, it just wasn't fun to do that. I just wanted to play the game. But because of the generation, I had to immediately pack up and move. And it kind of just ruined the fun for me. And uh, I haven't played with them since then. I, I feel like I'm missing out on part of the game. But at the same time, I feel like it's it's so obnoxious. And the best thing you can do is just pack up and leave. Like, we saw uh, an acid ant mound in this playthrough and my immediate reaction was let's never go near that and let's just pack up and move it's like if it's a part of the game that you're not really experiencing and your your default maneuver is to leave then i don't feel that that's necessarily a, a good thing um you know not to badmouth something that i'm sure someone worked on pretty hard but like it just doesn't doesn't feel appealing to me we have another computer's book we do Grab this. This is not going to be a fun read for us. It's going to hurt our morale considerably, which is going to ruin our focus. We're warm on most of our body parts. We can just duck downstairs where it's cool, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't love that. What else can I do for my mood? I mean, we could have more liquor. So look for whiskey. Single pot, still Irish whiskey. We'll head down to read where it's cooler. Because this was an ice lab, if I recall. Yes. Let's pop over here and read. Check our morale. It's looking pretty okay. Read the programming book. Before we do that, what is our MP3 player? 305. It is decreasing. I just wasn't paying close enough attention, I guess. Hmm. Maybe there's a no acid ant mod. There is. Pretty easily you can blacklist acid ants. Um, I just don't. Because it's... I don't know. I just haven't done that. You had some wet dog food there. Seems yummy. No. No. Uh, in Cataclysm, I think the wet dog food is literally just like water and meat. So I don't know that it has an enormous penalty or anything. But I, I would not feed that to my survivor unless we were like desperate and dying. Um, just like I would not eat mutant meat. Even though it's perfectly safe to do that in small doses. I just wouldn't do that because that's not very... Roleplay friendly. Uh, I would not force a character to eat a bunch of tumors and stuff unless they were desperate to, to live. Computer skill is three, trending up very, very slowly. First aid is six. I wish there was a better way to raise computers. Um, Because this is going to take a really long time with this book destroying our focus. Go up and have a little bit more alcohol, maybe, and have something to snack. We're really a little bit hurting for, like, regular food, but... Give me anything with a positive morale. Clam chowder, we can't eat that. We're lactose intolerant. Pineapple? Sure. Have some pineapple. Uh, what is this? Pickled fish is a plus seven. That's weird, but sure. I like pickled food. Uh... Pickled veggie, sure, plus seven. Apparently we really like pickles, which is fine. Tortilla chips, plus eight, done. We're now full. Uh, have some whiskey as well. Whiskey. Yes. Uh, no. I find it weird that eating a pickled veggie took us from, like, nothing to, to full, but whatever. Um, I left it in as I wanted to make sure I'm giving a full experience, but they were popping up and spreading really fast. Yeah, they do that. Thanks for the stream. Rest of you cool cats and kittens for supporting the channel. I'm going to be lurking. Okay. Enjoy your lurking. Hmm. What else can I talk about? Because my life is in general pretty boring, which is something we bring up basically every stream. Uh... Told you about my desire for stir fry, which I didn't get around to making. Oh, so I talked. So, so okay. So, a little bit on the darker side, but it's fine. It's okay. Um, 
came home last night. Like I said, I had a bad night at work. Uh, was nice and cool, but just took longer than expected by like an hour, hour and a half. Um, you know, just feeling not super great. Came in the house and found my brother, you know, who we talk about pretty frequently. He has a drug problem. Um, and he just disappears for days at a time sometimes, and we're worried about him. Um, came home, he was trying to take off his shoes in his bedroom, and was clearly under the influence of something. Um, and I had to use the bathroom, so I used the bathroom, and on my way out, I saw that he had passed out face down on the floor, kind of all crumpled up on himself, like he, he, he hadn't been able to take off his shoes, and had fallen over and passed out. Um, and that really upset me, because I worry about him a lot, and I'm concerned about his health and his safety, um, because I'm pretty sure he's on heroin, and people OD all the time. Um, and so I felt really, you know, after just having a bad day at work, I felt so like, I was so upset to see him like that. And it really had a not great effect on me. I, when I was, you know, was going to bed, all I could think, I, I couldn't stop thinking. I was like, we need to have an intervention. We need to put our foot down. We have to stop enabling him. I'm just, I'm just thinking about all the things that like we could do to help him. Um, you know, tell him, oh, we want you to stay here. We love you. We want you to have a safe place to go. But if you're going to be here, you need to be in treatment. You need to be going to meetings. You need to go maybe to rehab if that's something that you need. We need you to be in therapy, whatever. Um, but my family has historically been unwilling to do that and put their foot down because to them it's like they want him to have a place he can go where he's safe. So, and uh, yeah, it was not great. I went to bed like worried a lot about him. Um, and uh, when I woke up today, you know, I saw him in there and he was awake and he didn't look high or anything. And I was like, I, you know, I should say something to him. He thinks that everyone hates him because we get upset with him for his drug use, but we don't. We love him, right? It's just like we get tired of seeing you do the same thing over and over, and some of the things you do are frustrating and do make us angry, you know? Like, I think I mentioned it one time. It was like 1.30 in the morning, and they're out front blasting music because um, they're, they're just high in their car and, and not thinking. Um, so, like, there are things, of course, that frustrate us and make us angry, but mostly we love you and are concerned about you. Um, and, uh, yeah, I told him that, which is unusual for me. I don't normally... We're not a family that, like, tells each other we love each other. We're not a family that talks about feelings. We're not a family that does those things. But I wanted to make sure that today I, I brought it up to him and was like, I'm worried about you because I know he gets upset and he thinks no one cares about him. And like all he hears is people complaining about him. So I was like, I, I just want to tell him that, you know, I'm worried about him. I want him to be better. I'm afraid we're going to find him dead one day, that kind of thing. Um, I think he's outside my room right now listening to me. So uh, anyway, did some of that. Moving on. I don't know what to say about it. It's just, uh, I'm concerned. And, uh, I wanted him to know that we love him and stuff. But, yeah. Yeah, that was, um, not good. But also, it was nice that I was able to express that to him when I'm normally pretty closed off like that and, and don't talk about those things. So, I don't know. Obviously, it's a complicated situation. Sorry to hear that. Uh, if he does not want to change, he won't. Yeah, I'm a firm believer that change comes from within. You know, for me personally, I had to hit rock bottom pretty hard before I uh, started making changes in my life. Like, the worst time in my life is when I started to change. And it's been hard work, honestly, for like the last geez, decade almost uh, or so. Um, and it is hard. And uh, it is a personal decision, you know. I've, uh, you know, I go to group therapy sometimes, and I have uh, people there that deal with the same kind of stuff, you know, their kids and, and whatnot, and, and people who have those same kind of issues. And 
it really is a personal desire to change and you can't make someone change it's ultimately going to be them deciding like hey i don't want to live like this anymore so yeah it's uh it's not my responsibility but i i i worry so anyway just wanted to maybe touch on that briefly because you know it is what it is <laughs>